Hello and welcome to Infinity. In this video I'm going to talk about in the luminosity selection macros the parabolic lights, darks and midtones. In the last video I showed the luminosity zone ones. These also can emulate what can be done with the blend ranges but in a easier way. So just a reminder of that if you go to the this layer here it's a gradient underneath it there's a fill layer which is yellow so if I poke holes in this pixel layer here then underneath uh, it will come through and you'll see yellow. So if I go to the blend ranges here and use the left graph. If I pull down the left hand side here we're making the black end transparent but the white end still can be seen and still visible from here. And then if I uncheck the linear one so I can pull these up and down like this. You see it stretches out the area here that is protected in this layer. So pull down here, little bit of lights, pull up here, stretches all the way across to blacks. However this you know you can use this but it can be a bit fiddly and you start getting things like if you're pulling it a bit far over then look I've got a bit here. I want to get this a curve so I put in another one here like this but I want to move it then but then this is this one's going in the wrong place so maybe I'll take that off and I'll go up here but then I get the same effect there and then if I you know putting this oops daisy and you're faffing around with things like this and you also I can pull this one across here and this is what's called in the macros hard width because it's taking this lot here and saying all these are whites here I want to keep all of it don't fade it at all but then it's, it's, you can do it, but it's, it's just a bit messy. So if I reset that and do this with the ones here. So if I click on parabolic lights here, then I turn this second layer off here because this is done on another layer. So it is non-destructive. You can always just delete it and you're back to where you were. Open the procedural texture here. And that then pulling that curve up and down is exactly the same with this. So if I go up here, it pushes it across. And if I go down here, slide it back and makes it closer to, to light. Hard width will pull this across as well. So even though this is, this is like over here, it's still just fading off immediately. It leaves the, that, the white end there. So this will put a solid area of selection up here. In here, as with other things, but you've got the one here called bias, darks or lights, and this selects a different set of curves, but basically you can try it. Try one or the other. In the maths uh, talk, I'll explain that in more detail. And the luminance is the same as up here, where it's about how the red, green and blue are combined. And you won't see any difference in black and white, but you will in colour. So if I just delete that, go back to the beginning. Parabolic darks is exactly the same, but from the other end. So now we are selecting just a bit of the darks or stretching, fading out all the way across. And I can pull the hard width up there and it will definitely select all of this as opposed to starting to fade off straight away. So let's delete that. And one more thing we got here as well, which is parabolic midtones. And what this is like is if I go here and pull down the sides here, make that curve like that, you can see I've selected a piece in the middle. And again, this is about doing this in a easy way. So if I select parabolic midtones here, turn to this one here so you can see through it, and then you can see I've got a band here. And so I can move this up and down, this, and then soft width pulls this in and out. Hard width 
will going left will make it more transparent it's very very gentle going right will solidify that central area being selected and again you can pull this up and down anytime you like all the way to the top all the way to the bottom and so on so you can almost go to the bottom and simulate to some extent the parabolic lights and darks although it's only not as as flexible as the, those curves but you get that kind of effect so I'm just going to delete this and sort of show that again using just some curves here so this is like the darks curve so it's going from black to white and I'm controlling this so if I go in here when I'm sliding that slider up and down I'm effectively doing this so they're selecting more darks they're selecting a wider range but fading off in a different slight way turn this on here I'm doing the same thing here so and I can slide this up and down from the light area selecting that amount just showing what the curves look like and the midtones looks like this and now then I can stretch the width of this so I can taking this here and I can the soft width effectively is sort of stretching this out like that and then the hard width is taking this and sliding this up and down so when it goes up you can see you've got a mount fully selected here and when you go down it's only part ever partially selected and then similarly with the blues if I slide that sideway the hard width, uh, width there on the darks I've got this mount here fully selected and the reds similarly here and the light I can slide that that way and I've got hard selected this area here that's kind of how it's working hope that makes sense then you can apply this in a real picture and we'll just do the parabolic lights here turn off the bottom one so you can see what's being selected and now if I turn this down here I've got just lights selected if I turn it up it's kind of more difficult to see really so you've got the areas of snow there you can see that a bit better as I turn this up it selects more and more and more of the picture and if I the tard, turn up the hard width those lights are you know, lighter areas are more solidly selected so you've got that con control there and when you're doing that you can try these down here to see whether it makes a difference you can see there's this slightly different way that it's selected it can it can work so darks are very similar now when i'm selecting here I'm selecting area from the just the, the darks to extending that across the image, selecting more and more, and pulling up the hard width will solidify what's being selected in the darks. And finally, the midtones. Here, you're selecting a range goes off starts with the darks and then goes across the picture here but with this you can play with the soft width here which widens the range of what is being selected so that when that's up then a lot of the picture is selected when you bring that down it's a very narrow band and the hard width which when you go left it goes faded so it's very gently selected and when it goes right it there's a harder edge to it and you can then go literally through the picture selecting from the darks through to the lights and of course then you can then apply because it's on a separate layer here you can then apply any controls to that layer and that you'll only be affecting just that or you can use these three at the bottom to select in different ways mask spare channel and so on anyway that's it hope that was interesting and thank you very much for watching